Hi, everybody. I'm Dr. Lori. This is Ask Dr. Lori Live. Everything's unscripted. I don't know what objects are coming. My guests are here, and I'm happy that all of you are with me. I'm going to switch it up tonight. No framed pieces. If your object is in a frame, I'm not going to appraise it tonight. We're going to have to wait for another time. Hi, it's Dr. Lori. How are you? Hi, Dr. Lori. Sinclair. Hi, Sinclair. How are you? Good. I'm very hey, well. Sinclair, have you been on in the last month? actually yes. yeah i'm gonna ask those of you who have been on in the last month to give other people a chance but let's you see what you've cut off? no well let's see what you've got because you had no idea that i was going to do that That's but right. for those of you who are saying oh well yeah if you're on and on and on we want to see some new community members sinclair yes i understand <laughs> okay, okay. So what have you got this is, my, this is my object and that's fair right sinclair of course it's fair okay let's see your object all right let's see. are you okay let's see nice How'd you acquire it? Uh, I got it on eBay several years ago. How much did you pay for it? Well, so it's funny, it came from China, so I spent about $15 for it, but the shipping was about 50, so it yeah. was $65. Okay, okay, all right. And what is bronze. it? It's an old uh, uh, incense burner. Okay, are you sure it's bronze? I'm pretty sure it's really, really, really heavy. Okay, all right. So your piece, did, how old do you think your piece is? I don't know. Oh, um, come on. <laughs> well, How old is it? Old? I say it's like early 20th century. Early 20th century. It's from the early 1900s. I think Correct. it's probably from the early 1900s as well. So it's not that old. At least in what I do all day, it's not that old. Right. And not as far as China's concerned. Well, in relatively nice condition. And you said you paid 50, you paid $65 for it with the shipping. That's right. All right. Okay. Um, I like it. Uh, first of all, you have to get to the regions of China. So is it south? Is it east? Is it what? Where is it? Where was it made? That's one of the things you have to look for and try right. to identify. Uh, yeah, you're getting close to the camera. There you go. So everybody can see it. Thank you for doing that. Um, yeah. Elephants. So, yep. Dragons. Yep. So all of the typical motifs that you're going to see, those, those, the, that iconography that you typically see, yeah. Uh, would you say it is 12 inches uh, in diameter? I would say, yes, it's about 12 inches in diameter. Value on that piece, about $150. That's nice. Okay. Will you answer my question of the day? What is it? Well, my question of the day is, would you put butter or caramel on your popcorn? Uh, I would put neither. I like my popcorn straight with salt. All right. Nice to see you. Thanks very much. All right. You're welcome. You're welcome. Nice to see all of you. If you haven't signed up for my newsletter, you got to get on it. My newsletter is free and it will be sent out, of course, through drlaurieV.com. We'll send it right to you. All you have to do is give us our your email address and we'll send it out that way. It comes out frequently. It gives you all kinds of tips, selling tips, buying tips, sourcing tips, all kinds of things. Here's my next guest. Hi, Dr. Hi. How are you? I'm good. How are you doing? Good. What's your first name? It's Mylene. Hi, Mylene. Where are you calling from? North of Dallas. Okay, north of Dallas. What have you got for me? I have this tray that I okay. bought at an estate sale. Okay. And I don't think it's Bakelite because of the age. Can you get closer? Sorry. It's definitely not Bakelite. Okay. Okay. Nice. Plastic. Emboss, composite. Yeah, plastic. Yeah. Uh, time period, early 1970s. Okay. How much did you pay for it? Like two or three dollars. Did you negotiate? Well, it was the end of his state sale. So I just, mm -hmm. they put it all together. So by the time I added up everything, that's probably about what it equaled up to be. So it's about two bucks in a big lot. You bought all this other stuff. Yes. All right. Okay. So uh, how do you think, are you going to resell it? Yes. How are you going to market it? Um. Well, I was a plastic. Uh, plastic is never a great word. Oh, plastic. I know. That's what I was Plastic saying. is never a great word. And somebody says it's plastic. You know, who wants that? It's plastic. It's plastic. You, you've got to market that better than it's plastic. You've got to focus on what's wonderful about it. And here's what's wonderful about it. The embossed decoration, the texture, the attention to detail, the size, the quad. That's what's good. When you go, when you, if your first shot out of this is plastic, and you're going to lose. People are going to go, I don't want that. Truly, right? If the first really thing that good. they say to you is plastic, are they going to go, oh, this is great? Right? Yeah. Makes okay. sense? 
And I like these reselling tips because I want you guys to think about what's happening with your buyers because all of you are telling me that you're doing great reselling. I talked on a video call to a woman uh, two days ago and she said to me, Dr. Lori, I used to make $500 a month on my eBay store. I started watching your channel. Last month I made $30,000 on my eBay store. Oh my gosh. So yeah. would I say it's uh, plastic? I mean, I'll say plastic, but like, is it a, it is plastic, right? Though, would I well, yeah, it basically, basically what you want to start to learn are the different types of plastic. So is it an acrylic? Is it a lucite? Is it, you know, all the way through? That's what you want to do. Value on your, oh, did I give you the value? Value on your piece is about $35 okay. for your $2 investment based on actual sales records. Will you answer my question of the day, Mylene? I, actually, I like mine plain. Too. Plain? A lot of people like it plain. With a pickle. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Nice to see you. Thanks Thank so much you, for Dr. being with me. My pleasure. Don't forget video calls. Why? Because video calls are going to give you direct connection to me. You can ask me whatever questions you want and get appraisals during our video, my video calls. I do them all the time. It's easy to sign up. All you have to do is book them at drlaurieV.com. You can choose the appointment time, of course, that you like. So it's easy to do as well. The other thing I'm going to ask you to do, I ask you to do it all the time. You got to share the channel. We're trying to do a video a day for you. And if you don't share the channel, I can't do it. Just that simple. It has to do with budgets and time. Please share the channel. And thank you very much for watching because that's important too. Super chats and super stickers are on. So thank you for sharing those with me too. Hi, it's Dr. Lori. How are you? Hi, Dr. Lori. It's Hi, what's so your nice name? You. It's nice Cindy. to see you. What's your... Cindy? Yes. Cindy? Okay, because I was talking. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be talking over you. So Cindy, yeah. tell me, uh, what have you got to show me today? Where are you calling from? I am calling from Grants Pass, Oregon. Grants Pass, and Oregon. Okay. Yes. And oh, you're gonna show, I, oh, I'm gonna evaluate the stove. Let's see. Yeah. <laughs> oh, right? scarabs. I like scarabs. Scarabs, believe, of course. Scarabs, of course, are the form that date back to the ancient Egyptians, where beetles would be actually worn as jewelry or objects of adornment. Those are very nice. How did you acquire those? And is it a pendant and some earrings? It is actually a ring. Oh, a, a ring. ring and some earrings. A ring and earrings. Okay. And earring Are they one of your favorite designers, I believe, the Ben Amun? Oh, excellent. Ben Amun <laughs> yes. earrings. Great. Did you find them at a thrift store? Actually, I did not. My Where'd grandma you gave them to me, oh, and she was a big yard sailor. Wow. And okay. So, so grandma. Grandma probably got another yard sale. Yes, I believe she probably did and had no idea what she was picking up, but that's awesome. And I just Ben Amun is a very well-known costume jewelry designer and has outfitted the stars on the red carpet for a long time. Costume jewelry pieces. So they're oftentimes made with very high quality gold overlay or vermeil. Very nice designs, as you can see here with these very large, beautiful pieces uh, with the rope element as well. But I really, I do like Ben Amun very much. And I've listed a lot of the designers on my website at drlaurieb.com of the ones that hold their value and are pretty valuable. So I want you to see which ones you should be looking for. And that's on my website as well, as well as on all the jewelry videos that we do here. So um, a couple of things. So you got them for, maybe she got them for a couple of bucks. They've been handed down to you. Do you wear them? I have not worn them yet. No. Okay. Okay. So uh, value on them, $450 to $500 for the set. That's the ring oh. and the earrings as a set. Based on actual sales record, the vintage Ben Amun pieces go for a lot. You're surprised? I am shocked, Dr. Yeah. Not surprised. Yeah. Shocked. <laughs> yeah. Look at when you look at the whole market, 500 bucks for that set. So that's the ring. The ring is about 350 of it and the earrings are the rest. So that's beautiful, oh wonderful. Yeah, yeah, it's oh, out I'm there. So pleased. It's out there, I'm Thank telling you, it's you. out there. It's my pleasure. It's oh my, my pleasure. God. I'm very happy that you that you found it. I'm happy because you can also find them thrift stores, yard sales, estate sales. So if you keep looking, you're going to find it too. Will you answer my question of the day? You've got a big tub of popcorn. What do you put on it? Butter, caramel. About as much butter as I, as a person can handle. I would okay, say. Okay. Nice to see you from Oregon. Thanks for being with me. Thank you, Dr. Lori. My pleasure. Bye -bye. Oh, I love the jewelry. And good costume jewelry, 
most costume jewelry, of course, of course, will re will of course resell. If you've got a Goodwill jewelry jar, if you're doing those kinds of things, um, you know, if you're getting the 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 little pieces that are in the blue boxes from Goodwill, whatever it might be, it's almost always a good deal. Why? You're going to pay a little bit for it as you sift through and treasure hunt through that jewelry jar. You're going to find valuable. Look for the marks that I've taught you about as well. Hi, it's Dr. Lori. How are you? Hi, Dr. Lori. My name's Michelle. I'm calling from New Jersey. Hi, Michelle. How are things in New Jersey? They're great. It's a beautiful great. day. Yeah, it's a beautiful day. Terrific. Nice to see you, sweetie. What have you got? So I have, I had to put it on the floor because it's big. It yeah. is a woven tapestry wall hanging. Okay. Um, it's about 54 inches tall. Can um, you get closer fine. to it or is it a big problem for you to get closer okay. to it? She's going to try to get closer to it. Um, a couple of things. A tapestry, oftentimes woven, uh, of course, on a loom. And tapestries usually, when we think of them, we think of sort of the old European castles kinds of things, you know. So this particular piece is a wall hanging and we might call it fiber art. In the 20th century, we start to call it fiber art. What's the tag have to say for itself? Um, it says a design. Ah, Lori wants popcorn now. That's funny. I'm sorry. You were saying? Um, it's from Village Weavers. Okay. Can you see that? I'm not yeah, sure. kind of. We can kind of see it. It has a serial number. It has the weaver's name, the oh. sign. And it says okay. it's from Victoria Road in something I've never heard of, Peter Maritzburg. But I think that is from like South Africa, maybe. How did you acquire it? I bought it at the thrift store. Okay. And it looks like it has, it has like um, the wool here is like all tufted. Yeah, go closer to it so we can look at it. There you go. So you've got a mixed media happening basically. And all, of course it's all textile, but what you have there is you have certain pieces are utilized or uh, attracted in different ways. So you can see sort of this looks like a tree and this looks like a tree trunk and that looks like the moon, this kind of thing. Sure. I really like it. So you said it's 56 long? Yeah, it's uh yeah, fifty six tall, and okay. it is forty three wide, forty right. or forty okay. wide. How much did you pay for it? Twelve dollars and fifty cents. Okay, <laughs> it's worth it about. So you got it for about ten percent, and I like that ten percent number. Uh, okay. The reason why I like it is I like you to be around 10% of whatever you're paying, trying to try to buy it at 10% of what it's really worth. That's what dealers have been doing for centuries. They buy something at 10% and flip it for the 100%. So they're making 90% when they resell something. Been doing it since the late 19th century. That's what, and even the auction houses have been doing it that way. So that's what I want you to think about. So value on your piece, about $125. So you've got it at about 10% of what its value is. Obviously, it dates to the mid, the late 20th century because, of course, of the manufacturing tags and such. It's right. nice. Keep it out of direct sunlight. I know it's a wall hanging. I'm not crazy about wall hangings with fiber because what happens is it puts undue stress on the pieces. So if you so if you are going to in fact um, if you are going to in fact hang it, you have to make sure that you're hanging it properly. Will you answer my question of the day, sweetie? Um, I'm a salt person too. Sorry, nothing else. <laughs> so just salt on your popcorn. Yeah, yeah, no, no I, other stuff. That works for me. Thanks for sharing the channel. I appreciate that. Thanks Thank for sharing you. the channel. It means a lot to me. I appreciate it. My pleasure. Happy to help you all. Don't forget to share the channel. And of course, it's nice to hear what all of you guys have to say about our question of the day. Put it in the comments. I want to know what you put on your popcorn. If it's chocolate, I want to hear about it. I happen to like chocolate on anything. <laughs> so anyway, so that's right. What's my favorite color? Oh, hi, Matthew, you sweetheart. Oh, you're very nice. I'm trying to wear more jewel tones because everybody keeps telling me don't wear brown. Try not to wear so much black. I have a lot of black. I don't know why I have to like sift through to find brighter colors, but thank you for the nice compliment. I love red. I love red, but blue has always been my favorite since I was a little kid, since I was a little kid. So i um, happy to help all of you and happy, of course, for you to support the channel uh, any way you can. Watching, super chat, super sticker, sharing, however you do it. That's great. That's terrific. Are all the pieces going high like this? They're all high, Judy. Let me tell you, Ben Amun, first of all, the vintage Ben Amun are very high. And of course, to buy them new is very expensive. Go take a look. The market, you'll, the market will bear. And I show it to you also on my website. Here's my next guest. Hi, it's Dr. Lori. How are you? Can't hear you. Got no audio. 
Okay, we'll see you next time. Got no audio. Wait, wait, wait. Sorry. That's okay. What's your um, name, hon? My name's Alicia, and I'm at my friend Karen's house. And I Hi, have Alicia. Uh, nothing in a frame tonight, sweetie. Nothing in a frame tonight. Oh. I'm sorry. I check in again. Like check that. in again. We have check in again. Well, we do it, but just not tonight. We're changing it up tonight. Thank you, Alicia. <laughs> um, so as I was saying, we've got my guest. Everything's unscripted. This is Ask Dr. Lori Live. Hi, it's Dr. Lori. How are you? Hi, Doc. This is Liz. This is Liz in Seward, Alaska with my Hi, Dr. Lori t-shirt. Well, let's see. Your Dr. Lori says t-shirt. Thank you so much. We appreciate yes. the support. The mugs, the t-shirts, they're all, of course, available on the channel. And yes, I get small compensation when you make a purchase. We appreciate that. It goes back to the channel. Uh, so Seward, Alaska, Liz, what's happening? What object would you like me to take a look at? Well, I did a jewelry, jewelry buy, um, a big box of jewelry. It was $5, $5. The gal didn't know what was in that. And this is Fort Gold. Fort Gold. Can't see it. <laughs> so it's marked 14 karat gold? Yes. Okay. I don't, so, I don't know what the stone is. It's not a diamond. No. It's yellow. It does have, does have occlusions. Okay. 14 karat carat FL. So a couple of things. First of all, you have to have the stone checked. You can do that with the dime, with the with the gem tester, the Presidium gem tester. I rec recommend those at my specials and shop page, where you can shop for things. You can look at that if you like. Again, I get compensation uh, when you do that. But a couple of different when you purchase something through the through the website. But a couple of things about this. First of all, have the stone checked by a GIA certified jeweler. Okay, a local one. <laughs> okay. If you if you do not have the Presidium gem tester, if you have it, test it. The other thing is we're going to talk about the setting. The setting is marked 14K. Is that the only thing that the setting has on it? There's no maker's mark on it? No, it just, no, it just has 14K and then F. How did you acquire it? I um, it on it on eBay. How much did through, you pay? $35. Oh, okay. 20, piece, right. 20 pieces of jewelry. 20 pieces of jewelry in a jewelry bag or jar, and it was on eBay, and that came out of it 14K. All right, right out of the yeah. chute, the setting is worth about $275, $300. And then you've got to add the stone, but you have to identify the stone first, so you've got to test the stone. Will you answer okay. my question okay. of the day, Liz? Popcorn, Absolutely. butter, caramel. Caramel, you're going for the sugar. Nice to see you. Uh, a couple of other things that I want to remind you about, of course. Uh, use a Wi-Fi network when you're doing this. Don't rely on, of course, uh, your cell service so we can get uh, the best audio and video for you. And if your audio or your connection or your video is not good, I have to throw you out. Why? Not because I don't love you. I love all of you. But we have to make sure it's a good viewing experience for everybody yes. else. Uh, this the is best Dr. Lori Live. I'm Dr. Lori. If your Lori. audio or your connection or video is not good, I have you to throw you out. I, Dr. Lori, can you turn that off? Yes. Can you hear Hi. me? I can. How are you? Oh my god, I can't believe I'm on. <laughs> You're on. What's your name, sweetie? I am Valerie from Buffalo, New York. Valerie, nice to see you. The Great Hi. Albright Knox Museum is in Buffalo, New York. Beautiful place. Fantastic. <laughs> How'd you acquire this? I had a friend whose grandmother went into a nursing home and she gave me some things that she had. And this is from a church. I'm going the wrong way. There you uh, are. Now you got it. It says S-V-J-A-K-O-V. -V on, on, the, on the back it says that or on the front it says that? On Doesn't the back. It looks like the it back, says yeah. The Cathedral of S.V. Jacob and it's from Sidenic. Can you turn it around? Turn the, let yes. me see the back. Let me see what material this is. Oh, all right. Okay, back up a little bit. Back up from your camera. I'm all in right. my studio. No, so. no, no, you're fine, you're fine. <laughs> you're moving a lot. If you stop moving, it would help. Okay. There you go. All right. Uh, this is a part of a freeze, F-R-I-E-Z-E, -E, a freeze, which is basically sort of an element at the top, usually of an architectural element. And sometimes they're decorated on the inside of churches and sometimes on the outside of churches or any other important building. You'll also see freezes on uh, civic buildings of, great, of the great ancient Romans and Greeks. This particular piece is Italian, probably dates 
to about the 19th century. It's not all that old. It is classical revival. It's trying to look old and trying to look like the classical antique. Okay, That means it's trying to look back at the way in which these pieces were molded or sculpted back in the Renaissance, the 1400s. But this piece is, is made in the 1800s. Uh, it looks like it's a casting of that particular type of stone, right? Think of when you would cast a piece of, you know, a uh, uh, concrete or cement kind of thing. Uh, so it was a gift. Yes, and in in um, eighteen inches now. Oh, I'm sorry, you go ahead. Well, no, it's about a little less than twelve. And in Croatia, mm -hmm. there's a church that has seventy one heads on it, yes. and these actual two heads are on that church. Like I found the heads. Okay. Okay. You found the same element. You found basically the, the same big form. Ones. Yeah. Yes. The if, big you've been to Croatia, if you've been to Dubrovnik, I was in Dubrovnik multiple times. A beautiful, wonderful walled city. Croatia is gorgeous. And uh, of course, the Dalmatian coast. That particular piece in this con in that condition, which is excellent condition, about $150. You might be able to get $200 in a good market for it. And what you have to do with that when you're trying to resell it, maybe you're not trying to resell it, but if you are trying to resell it, you have to basically have the background about the architectural connections. So you were talking about this Croatian it. church. So you were talking about this Croatian church. Then you want to make that connection. What were you saying, Valerie? It does say who made it. It's stamped on here by yeah. the maker. Right. Um, but you know, I don't know. Well, why. there's more than one of those out there. And that's not good for your value. That's the oh, other situation. Okay. The, um, tell me, uh, question of the day, Valerie, from Buffalo. Caramel or butter on the popcorn? Butter all day long. All day long. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad I got to see you, Dr. Lori. Thank you so much. Thank you for sharing and watching, and I'm so glad you got to see me too. <laughs> I'm Dr. Lori. This is Ask Dr. Lori Live. We're having lots of fun, always having lots of fun. Um, my guests are here. Everything's unscripted. Thank you very much for the super chats and the super stickers. An Oz Franco City Landscape gifted 20 years. Yes, from 20 plus years, I guess that says from mom, worth. Okay, I need to see it. I'm glad you gave me dimensions. Um, what you're telling me is that it's long and skinny, right? It's a large vedute or vista landscape. Those long, skinny ones are pretty indicative of pieces that you're going to see coming out of southern the southern Mediterranean, um, Spain, Italy, that neck of the woods, uh, in, of course, the early part of the 20th century. So you can always send me a picture. You can all send a picture, or you can do this, or have a video call at drlaurieb.com. Here's my next guest. Hi, Dr. Lori here. How are you? Great. How are you? Great. What's your name? How are how you doing? Oh, dog. So, what's your name, hon? Huh? What's your name? That's a piece of Karen. Francoma, but what's your name? Carrie. Hi, Karen. Where are you calling from? I'm calling from uh, Racine, Wisconsin. Racine, Wisconsin. Okay. Yeah. So how did you acquire the piece of Francoma? It's nice. Pretty rare. Goodwill. Nice. <laughs> how much did you pay? Four dollars. Wow, that's amazing. Can we see the mark? Right up to your camera so everybody can see it. Plain as day. So paint the picture for me. You're in the Goodwill. You're walking through the aisles. Where is it? Is it right out in the open? Is it hidden? It was right out in the open by the checkout desk. Wow, that's wonderful. So uh, piece dates, early part of the 1950s. Value on that piece, about $225. Nice, <laughs> really nice, awesome. beautiful glaze, lovely form. That's that nice organic form that you see post war America after 1945, based on actual sales records where similar pieces have sold. And let me tell you, and I've had the testimonials right here on the show. Let me tell you, you can't get that for it. I can't get that for it. You're not working hard enough if you can't get that for it. You know why? There are sales records that indicate that that's how much you can get for it. If, or you're not in the right market. You're not marketing it to the right people. So that's the other thing. But right. I've seen these pieces go very, very well, especially the ones that are rare that you can't get. And functional pieces like that, you know, that could be a vase. That could just be on a side table. And that could be right. also functional. Yep. Really beautiful. Yep. Not a chip or a crack on it, huh, Karen? No. Wow. That's, no. that's great. Popcorn, caramel or butter? Caramel. 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 Yeah. Okay. I'm a little surprised because I think of Wisconsin as dairy, so I would have thought butter for you. Oh, I love my cheese, but 
Caramel corn all the way. <laughs> Cheese is different. That's right. Nice to meet you, Karen. Thank you so much for being with me. And thank you for, of course, being part of the channel. I love the community. We're all having a lot of fun here. I'm Dr. Lori. I guess I'm having the most fun. <laughs> I'm Dr. Lori, the PhD antiques appraiser. It's good to be with all of you. So let's see what else we've got. We've got guests, of course, galore, and people who are, want to have their objects appraised. Here's my next guest. Hi, Dr. Lori. Hi. What's your name? Uh, this is Ace, Dr. Lori. I've spoken to you before from Austin. Ace from Hi, Austin. Ace. Can you open up the blind, Mom? Yeah, Mom, open up the blind. Uh, these, I'm, I'm actually visiting from Rockport today, so that's where Hi. I'm located. And uh -huh. this is my partner. Uh, his father got these two. I looked them up. I guess they're Vietnamese garden stools. And he got them in, while he was in Vietnam in the 60s and brought the pair back. Um, so I, I think that's what they are. I'm not for sure. Let's and bring somebody so, else in and see who's for sure. Do we have somebody that? else? Do we have somebody else? Just wait with me, Ace. Don't go anywhere. Let's see if we have somebody else, if I can bring somebody else in to help. Hi, what's your name? Hi, my name is Sarah. Hi, Sarah. Um, Sarah, I want you to look at these uh, Vietnamese st uh, garden right stools here. for me. Um, okay. I'm guessing they're about three feet, uh, three feet high, two and a half about, feet high? Yeah, about two and a half feet. Okay, two and a half feet high. Uh, Sarah, if you had to put a value on them, they're from Vietnam, they're 20th century. What do you think? For both of them? Um, yeah, for the pair. If there is a pair, you always identify and evaluate right. the pair. I would say maybe 120. You think 120 for the pair? How much did they pay for them, Ace? Mom, do you know? Five, five dollars? Five dollars for the pair. In, Viet no. in Vietnam, how many years ago? Oh, five for a piece uh, during the war. During the Vietnam War? The yes, he was, he was in Italy Vietnam. 70s? Okay. All right. Around okay. 67, Mom says. Can you show me the bottom? Yes. And then I want to see the intricacy of the... Okay, so they're from, they're from about the 1950s or 60s. So they were, not, they were new when they got them, basically. Yes. The decoration is nice. The it's decoration, a, they're kind of um, contrasting colors. So this one's a red flower. I think it's, I don't know what kind of flower it is. It might look like a cherry blossom. Plum and then blossoms over here, or cherry blossoms are typical. Chrysanthemums are typical. Yes. You know, so Asian culture relates to flowers with many different iconographic or symbolism symbols that relate to flowers. A couple of things. Usually it's the four seasons, right? Okay. So are there, are, is, uh, does the back have two different um, decorations? It looks like they're they're pretty sim. I can't tell the difference to be honest. So I, this is the front side. I'll mm -hmm. flip it around to see if it looks different, but I haven't noticed any. No. Okay. It doesn't. Okay. So typically, what you'd have is you would have the four seasons if it's in two of them or if it's in four of them, basically. Oh, okay. Right? I see. So and then garden seats usually. Now, in the Western world, we always think about even numbers, but in the Eastern world, they usually think about odd numbers. So there might have been five of them or three of them, that kind of thing. So they are ceramic. They are cast ceramic. Okay. They're not that they're basically they're a ceramic. So that's a clay and it's fired and it's also, of course, incised or cut out, you know, yeah, they're very beautiful and then painted. I would say value on the pair is about $250. And, um, uh, our assistant appraiser, my sidekick there, uh, she, in fact, was pretty close. So thank you very much, Ace. I appreciate that. Awesome. And thank you. My pleasure. It is my pleasure. So that's great. Oh, there's the dog. <laughs> <laughs> the dog always gets in the scene. Um, I forgot to ask, popcorn or the popcorn question, I will get back to it with my next guest. And who is my next guest? I want you to share the channel. It will help you and it will help me as well. Don't forget, of course, to sign up for my newsletter. The newsletter will help all of you. Subscribing to it will help all of you. And that's at drlorev.com. It's very easy to find. While you're subscribing, subscribe to the channel. You know, subscribe to this channel here on YouTube. And of course, hit that bell so you get the alerts of when I'm live doing free appraisals. Hi, it's Dr. Lori. How are you? Hi, Dr. Lori. I'm doing great. How are you? I'm doing great. What's your name? Sorry. I'm Sharon from Bakersfield, California. Sharon from California. What can I do for you, Sharon? Well, I've got this little vase. Little vase. You've got a, that's a wonderful piece behind you. Wow. Yeah. The cable car of San Francisco, right? Right. With G Gloria Erickson, but you're not doing framed work today. <laughs> no, I'm not, but I think it's a great piece. Thank you. you. Don't have to, I can, we can appreciate the works on the wall. For can't sure. We? I love it. Yeah. I love it too. How far is Bakersfield from San Francisco? Oh, wow. I was just there on Amtrak. 
Um, oh. It's about four hours if you drive. Oh, okay. so, oh, if you drive. If you drive fast or slow? <laughs> <laughs> Probably fast. Like, <laughs> Maybe more like I, five. I used to say, I can get to my mother's house in New Haven if I drive fast in two and a half. If I drive slow, <laughs> this kind of thing. So show me what you want to really show me, darling. <laughs> This Sharon. little vase right here is signed by Jackie D. Oh, all right. And um, you know, I thought it was I thought it was uh, porcelain, but I believe it's glass fitting by the artist Gloria D. But I just wanted to see what you thought. Can you can you show me the uh, piece looking down inside of it, like like this, right? And then right up to your camera. Are you holding your camera and holding your object? Yes. It's hard, it's hard to do that. Yeah. That. Back, back up a little bit for me. Back up. All right. And the interesting okay. thing. And let's see. I, I'm I, sorry. You go ahead. I got challenged because I had it on eBay. They said that that can't be a fitting because they never did appliques on it. And I kind of rubbed the bottom of it. And it's Everybody's very an expert. I know. You see Everybody's that? Everybody's an expert. Uh, I have to, it's, a, it's a lot of problems with these kinds of things. I have to say a couple of different things. I don't really like, uh, I don't like a lot of elements about it. You know, I understand that there is of course a name on it. However, that's not the only thing that experts look at. When I first looked at it, I thought, okay, this looks like it is some kind of reproduction. Somebody trying to make something that looks like something else. That's mm -hmm. the first thing. It does look like glass though. It does not read like ceramic to me. It reads like glass. However, I would not say that it is definitively Fenton. Okay. I will also say, however, that there's a lot of other things going on online when somebody says, oh, I don't think it's this. You know, a lot <laughs> of the times, a lot of the times they don't, they're not really trying to get to the real truth. What they're trying to do is either make you lower the price, make you pull the listing because they're competing with you. You know, right. a lot going on. So you got to be careful. How much did you pay for this? I paid like three ninety nine. Mm, I think it's probably worth about twenty bucks. Twenty bucks. That's okay. what I think it's about worth. Yeah. Nice to see what? you. Popcorn or caramel on your um popcorn? A uh, pop. I'm sorry. Uh, butter or pop? Butter or caramel on your popcorn? <laughs> I'll take the butter. But it has to be vegan because I'm a vegan. Okay. So what's vegan butter like? Miyoki's vegan butter is terrific. You don't know the difference. Oh well, that's good, right? What's it made it's from? Oat milk. Yeah. Oat milk. I like oat milk. Oat milk yeah, is pretty creamy, I have to say. It really is. We yeah, it really it. is. It's pretty good. Oh, okay, so oat milk and butter. Huh. I learned something new from you guys all the time. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much, Sharon. Bye. All right. Thank you. Bye-bye. Oh, yeah. No, it's my pleasure. My pleasure. Uh, thank you very much for the super chat and the super sticker. Please don't forget our priority service. Our priority Ask Dr. Lori service is an unlimited opportunity for you to uh, upload photos and have as many objects appraised within a subscription period. A lot of people love it. And I love the folks who I, I live with for uh, a subscription period time too. So thank you very much for supporting the channel. And I, when you support the channel, I know that you like what we're doing. And I want to hear from you. I want to know what you like. And I want to know what you don't like too. Dr. Lori, you're gaining weight again. I don't like that. That's okay. You can say anything to me. Hi, it's Dr. Lori. How are you? Hi, Dr. Lori. How are you? I'm good, sweetie. Where are you? What's your name? Carmen and I'm from Rhode Island. Hi, Carmen. What's happening? Are you at your front door or your back door? I am at my back door on the back deck, actually. Back deck. Okay. <laughs> oh, there's somebody. People, that's, that's a busy place going in and, going in and out. out. He's going to hold the camera so that I can show you what Thank I have. goodness. Thank you for helping. <laughs> oh, no problem. All right. I appreciate that, hon. Oh, I look at I'm this. Doing a good job. Okay. Oh, I like this. How'd you acquire this? Oh, I like it better. All right. What did you say? Online. Online. Bought it online. What did they? You bought it online. What did they say it was? They actually just said it was a Chinese soup bowl. Chinese soup bowl. Can I? Yeah. Can you hold it up to the camera and stop moving it? Sorry. I know you think I'm a magician, but you guys are like moving and this thing and that and that. And you know, I'm like, I gotta I see. Know how wonderful you are. That's amazing. You don't know where the camera. You don't know where the camera is. That's where the camera is. She stop. drives me crazy. Stop. All right, can you turn it over? I don't like the color of that clay at all. And all here's right. why. That color of that clay is so low quality. It has so many imperfections and impurities in it. Ugh, I don't like that at all. Turn it around if you would. I, I wanna see the front, I wanna see the, un the inside where the soup would go. 
Oh, that's the alpha. Oh, you're fine. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. You're doing great. You're doing great. And then there's a cover, right? So yep. some of them are decorated on the inside and some of them are not. Is that right? Correct. I got it. The bowl on the inside is not decorated. The lid the what made you buy it? I honestly thought it was going to be worth something. <laughs> what did you say? I didn't hear you. I thought it was going to be worth something. I thought because of the numbers on the back of it and the color it was, I thought it was some kind of old Chinese. It's not old. Old Asian pieces, and this is what I want you guys to learn. Old Asian pieces should be a brighter white color, not that that, that beigey brown color, okay? Um, don't think that it has to be brown or tan to be old, okay? So if you're looking for antique pieces, more than 100 years old or in, in Asia, much, much older than that, look for a, a good contrast of blue and white. You know, like, you know, like here's a good contrast of blue and white. A good contrast, very, very white against blue. Um, that particular piece probably dates to about the 1950s, trying to look older. It's not, it's not poorly painted. It's well painted. I don't like the color of the clay. So how much did you pay again? $3.99. $3.99 for all of it? For everything. I'd go 25 bucks for everything. 25 bucks. Okay. Right. And there's a lot of tips on these videos about Asian ceramics and about ceramics in general. So binge watch the videos. How do you binge watch? Go to the specials and shop page where, of course, you guys found the link to be on Dr. Lori Live, right? Ask Dr. Lori Live. The same page, scroll down, look at that binge link and use it. It's at drlorev.com. I put all the specials and shopping stuff on that page. I even put, of course, our special events, my classes, which are many of them are sold out. So we added more dates. That's on the specials and shops yeah, page to too. To so, so I hope to see you there. Check that out. And popcorn, butter or caramel? I love kettle popcorn. Kettle corn popcorn, that's my favorite. Mm. Kettle corn popcorn is your favorite. Thank Absolutely. you. Thank, Thank you. you. Yes. And thanks to your helper too for holding the camera. That helps. <laughs> Fantastic. I'm Dr. Lori. This is Ask Dr. Lori Live. I'll see you next time.